I was asked to do a video on George Davis, specifically looking at him in pass rush situations. So I will do my best. This is George's nickel defense, kind of their base package um, where they align a nickel to the passing strength. Guy uh, is a particular type of athlete that they want. Uh, somebody that plays the run, rushes the quarterback, and can cover. It's interesting that it's Channing Tindall. We, Channing Tindall, we looked, I looked at him in a previous video. I saw him in that role as well. This jack backer or this outside backer um, is also a hybrid type player. They can go from this mint package, this, this tight front, uh, to an over front real easily with him in the game. Interestingly, they do not send him. A lot of times they'll just creep one of these linebackers or this nickel, in this case Tyndall. Um, sometimes they send a blitz, but a lot of times they drop him. A lot of times they ask him to get hands on the tight end. He always aligns, so far as I've seen, always aligns to the tight end side. Uh, one thing I'll point out about uh, Jordan, I don't think in any of the videos that I've pulled, he was in on empty sets. It's always somebody in the backfield in terms of a tailback. Uh, interesting you see him off the ball here at nose, grab the wrist of the center. That's something you want to see more, a little bit more hand fighting or hand usage, but he is running his legs, getting his hands inside. As soon as that happens, it's over. You can see uh, this, in this case, the center is on skates. That ball comes out quickly, but we are looking at him in a one-on-one -on -one pass situation where he's reading runner pass uh, and pretty much having his way with the guy across from him. Watch it again. You can see a lot of the athleticism that, that um, showed up at the combine right here. Quick off the ball, first guy off the ball, and just a straight line speed at this point. You can see a little bit of hand usage getting the center off of him. And I like this as well. Watch him put his foot in the ground right there and change direction. You see so many big men just like a truck, unable to put the, the brakes on downhill. Uh, I think that's pretty rare what you see here. Uh, Fedarian Mathis, for example, I was watching him. He cannot do that. I think this is unusual. You see him get the sack and finish the job. Real quick off the ball again. First guy off the ball. This is the only run play I'll feature in the video. Shows his lateral quickness, uh, his ability to read, his ability to shoot gaps. His straight line speed uh, and his tackling ability. Uh, well, I'll point out that he's aligned at three tech, so he's more versatile positionally than people think. Generally, uh, this is a big play here. Stays right in his gap, reads the back, gets upfield. It's also important, I think, to point out how much uh, outside zone the Cleveland Browns run, for example. Uh, he's not dead weight on the D-line laterally. He gets a one-on-one -on -one matchup versus the guard. I think it's a pretty obvious passing down, third down, third and goal. Uh, he just runs his legs and overpowers. The lineman drops him right on the feet of the QB. Um, that's just pure strength. Not great hand usage initially, although he does work that back inside. Uh, just a powerful bull rush. It looks like the uh, outside linebacker lands on his legs, keeps his balance. Um, so part of a four-man pressure there, getting a one-on-one -on -one matchup. That is his main go-to now, just running through people. Um, but it's a good place to start. And, um, you know, th there, there aren't too many guys I can think of that would be better to, for him to be hanging out with uh, than Calais Campbell and Michael Pierce. Watch the effect he has here. They're going to twist the five technique inside. They do not do a great job passing this off, but he is dominating the guard, moving both of those blocks right there. Pretty far into the backfield. This guy's quick enough to get around, uh, and he does occupy the attention of the center. Watch it again. And he actually ends up coming off the block and chasing the quarterback here at the end. 
I love this blitz that Georgia sends, uh, the way that it's designed, and I think it gives good insight into something that Jordan might uh, develop further. Um, they're going to send both the nickel and the jack backer. And watch how they crash both A gaps with Trayvon Walker and 88, who might be the best player on that defense. And this, I believe, is a called pass rush move. He's got to occupy the center as they crash the A gaps, and he's got to remove him. They don't want him pressing him back because of these guys crashing the A gap. Um, so he's forced here to either kind of grab this guy, wait for them to go, or rip, as you see him do here. That, to me, is the first move you want him working on, is with his hands inside, ripping down. Uh, they also twist him around after that, so it's beautiful the way it's designed. Both A-gaps crash one-on-ones, matchups to the outside, and then that twist that he runs. Again, you see that athleticism. He's able to pressure the quarterback. Watch it again. He's part of a three-man pressure initially. Uh, occupies two blocks. Ends up getting off the block. But I want you to watch as he kind of winds up, uh, punches the center here with his inside arm, the, the reaction. You know, how far he's able to drive uh, that block back. It's just gonna be, he's just going to be disruptive. Arm, you know, half of his body, sends half of his body flying, moves his head. And he's taken up, again, two of these blocks. You get a late blitz from a tailback. Eventually, you see a, <laughs> a swim here. Uh, he, he ends up getting a little bit in on the pressure, but he is going to be disruptive. Uh, really, just a dominant punch here inside. With his ability to occupy blocks, uh, to be disruptive in the backfield, uh, and Georgia used him this way. That's why I'm talking about their defense in this video a little bit. Uh, really kind of plays into what the Ravens do um, with sending linebackers or a linebacker. Uh, the hope is that you can send three, as they do here, and your fourth rusher be that creeper. Uh, you see quickness off the ball, able to cross the center's face. The, the hope is here he's going to pull the guard or at least create space for a one-on-one -on -one here or a two-way go for um, this blitzing linebacker. But you see him cross the face of the center, bring pressure. It's not just occupying blocks. So what are the things that he, he needs to work on? In terms of rushing the quarterback, if he's going to be um, someone who gets you four or five or six sacks from the inside, because I do believe he'll be, di be disruptive and he will better uh, sack production around him. But if he's going to be that guy that gets you four or five or six sacks from the interior on his own, uh, which I think is possible, uh, he needs to work with his hands in particular, the, the idea of rips. Uh, hand position generally, where he can get his hands inside and control the block a little bit better. And also, you see that quickness off the ball, that, that move where you club and then swim. Uh, but I think there's enough on tape where you see uh, just abject power, ab abject um, disruptiveness. And speed off the ball, speed laterally, change of direction for a big man. Uh, he, he's peculiar. I mean that in a biblical sense, meaning he, he's rare, he's set apart, 